Hey guys, you Kirby here and with another episode of Borderlands. In the last episode, we turned on all the Echo Communication Towers and entered the Descent as we head to the Vault to stop Steel. This area, we'll, we have a lot more Guardians to deal with. Like I said, a lot of them are Sarahs. There's the one I've been attacking. Okay. Stop hiding behind that. I can't shoot you, dick. Also, push. Yeah, your shield's coming back soon. There we go. <laughs> really yeah, as you can see, our our proficiency has actually gone a lot, going up a lot faster for this baby. Not. Uh, we also have a. This is actually kind of rare that I have a badass guardian to appear here. Need to find some ammo. Oh, and close to the artifact. And it's useless. Hooray. Thanks, game. Thanks for giving me something useless. Okay, that's for another level. Open up this. Ooh, compare this to our thermal shotgun. No. Ooh, I would gladly take this. Probably, I wish it was a shock one, but honestly, just be, just, just do it. Ooh. Okay, cool. Just do, just basically just, sh just hit them hard. And that's an easy way to take care of guardians. Once their shield is down, that is. Oh, there you are. Oh, someone else is shooting at me. Well, sh okay. Okay, it was just something shooting at me from below. Oh, oh, damn it. That's not fair. I don't see you. Okay, there's another Sarah Guardian. He was in here. Okay, so I think it was two Sarah Guardians that was shooting me. There you go. Okay, okay, you were straight above me. Screw you, sir. Of course, you also see that chest thing, chest over here. This place has kind of a lot of chests. Not gonna lie, it has a lot of chests. All right, so we got sniper and a sh another shotgun. Not as strong as what we got. Good. All right, so this little area is kind of a Honestly, I would say it is, is a little bit of a boss fight-ish. Because you have a big-ass gauntlet of both Guardians and Lancemen fighting. Honestly, a good idea I would take is snipe any Sarah Guardians you have. Yeah, just snipe any Sarah Guardians you can see. Mm 
mostly, yeah, just take this area slow because you do have a lot of these. Another thing I do find annoying about this that they there is that the cert, that the Sir Guardian shots actually have super reliable homing style. Like they kind of do. Alright, so we'll need to get a little closer to help take down those guys. Just be careful when dealing with them. I have no idea what, what I got that one for. Cool, there goes that guy. Yeah, honestly, take out the Sarah Guardians first. The Crimson Lance aren't that big of a threat until you actually get down to those levels. The Sarah Guardians are the bigger of the threats. Okay, so I see. So that guy is. It's at a good distance. How's my. Yeah, reload this. There we go. No and also low this up, so we'll gladly use our points to get Diva up again. Alright, so now we're also on the level of for the Crimson Lance to start shooting at us too. Oh, two of you guys. Oh, there's another Sir Guardian over here here. So let's take him out. Oh, this is Hello. Oh, whoops. That that wrong but wrong gun. Wrong gun. Wrong gun. Oh. Hello. You separate from your turret. All right, so there is an Ursur Guardian in this area. So let's take him out. And from here, I actually like throwing a few grenades down. Mostly because to help weed out some of the stragglers. Granted, doing the slow route, you do miss out on a lot of XP, whether it be from killing whether it be from killing um, guardians, killing lancemen, but honestly, it kind of seems headaches. God damn it! Just not the headaches you get from when you get a get a uh, chest full of pistols. Heck. Yeah, it's just a fire one. I don't care. I think that's actually up. Oh, nope, there's some crimson lancemen. Let's kill them. Kill them before they repopulate populate the species. Can't go up this way. Okay. Oh, hey, some more Crimson Lancemen. Okay, 
That guy took a little bit too long to actually fall down dead. That's why I don't like shield enemies in these games. Honestly, they're... They're honestly my least favorite enemies in this game, mostly because of the fact that they just, oh, hey, I have a shield. I think we can make that, no, we can't make that jump. Oh, well. Not like that was the one we needed to do anyway. Luckily, we don't have any other enemies down this way, so. Move on down and enter the Iridian Promontory. The final trail of the entire game. That's right, we are doing the finale today. First up, the Promontory. Promontor you see there are a lot of guardians. It's basically the same thing. Lots of guardians, lots of lance. Uh, come on Dick All right nothing for that Pop this oh come on uh, Seriously guys Go away. Cover me out of ammo. Seriously, don't do that. I hate that. All right, uh, everything's useless there. We fall on our ammo for stuff. All right. Alright, so, we have a long-ass trail to do. We also have a lot of, a lot of these. Arch Guardians. They are actually kind of the big daddies of the, of these things, of the Guardians. Ammo. I say this to his big daddy, and that guy just stood there like a dumbass. Like, seriously, ours go, oh, I'm going to rain some grenades down on you guys. Whoever dies, I'll take care of the vic, I'll take care of the victor. Where's that guy then? Where's this guy? You're focused on me. There, dang. Alright, so that... Yeah, back to bed, so... Badass guardians are kind of the scary one, so... Alright, you dropped the purple. Alright, I'll throw that to one I have. Alright, so I did see that Sarah Guardian, so I want to snipe... Wow. Take you out. Dick. But well, at least I judge she wants me so I can, so I can shoot you ammo. down easier. There we go. Yeah, so be warned, this is going to be the longest section of the game. I, ooh, a double badass brigade. Oh boy. I'm not swapping to my, to my normal. I'm keeping my. Oh, triple badass. Okay, get rid of the defender, because he's actually the worst one of these. Do this. Alright. Alright, let's get these badass guardians. 
take it down. You. All right. Honestly, I only really recommend men picking up a lot of the weaker stuff. Uh, the the only grab stuff if you need to. So honestly, I'm gonna kind of basically be doing uh any any wipes I have. All right, so Arts Guardians are a mixture of of melee and range. So they're actually they also have the most help and stuff out of the end. Kill Stealer. Yeah, this... Yeah, there are Sarah Guardians in this area too. So, honestly, I would, what I would recommend is basically backing away have the principal guardians follow you, or the Sarah guardians. The, prin the principal guardians mostly because they are are melee. Turn in your health. Back a little bit of my energy for for this. All right. I do wish that I had a scoped one to be on, uh, SMG to be honest, to make shooting at the Sarah Guardians a lot easier. But honestly, we'll take what we can deal. There are a lot of chests here. Um, I'll take you because you're green. But I'll ignore the other one. Yeah, so basically just be careful in this area. Because like I said, lots of enemies. And it also has a lot of times you can counter bad asses. Alright. Switch up your weapons a lot if a lot if you want if you if you need to. Like like if you have a shotgun, take out the um principal guardians. Yeah. yeah. Arch Guardian is best to take care of from a distance. Lance, honestly, I would recommend using either, depending on what they are. <laughs> Only really use your med kits in emergency. You can. Uh, God damn it. Our guardians. Honestly, in this section, the Sarah Guardians are honestly my least favorite because of the fact that you have to deal with the fly with some flying enemies. Alright, both of these are white, so I don't really care. I don't know what that red dot's uh, all alone out there for, so yeah. Okay, cool. They're not moving, so let's take out the Sergeant first. Damn it. 
makes it help and feel to Steam's Yeah, honestly, in my eyes, the Sarah Guardians are easily the worst ones that you have to deal with, mostly because of the fact that they fly around a lot. And honestly, they can be taking cheap shots at you while you're fighting something else. I want to use my other med kit. Was hoping not to not use it for a long, shorter time. Take anything you want. Luckily, we are actually at the final turn for this. Personally, I do wish that they had decreased the, the health pool of the Sarah Guardians. Luckily, all it seems to be is just Principal Guardian, so they're fine, so we're good. Oh, there's Sarah. Alright, so there's one more Principal. There we go. Alright. Luckily, we're actually almost done, but we still have a lot more to do. The other thing why I don't like Arch Guardians is their shots actually have some freaking have an AOE or AOE. Alright, cool. There's that one. There goes that one. No idea where that Lanceman went. Oh. Thanks, guys. Now it's your turn time. Your time, guys. You're killing me for basically. You're stealing for getting that kill skill. It's actually one of the best kill. There. So, let's see. So, open up these chests and see what that Sarah Guardian was defending. If anything good. Ah, come on. Well, I'll just keep out my SMG to regain some ammo. And that Sarah Guardian was guarding the chest. That's good. Not Sarah. Arch. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I suppose it can take some grenades. Luckily, we're actually almost there.
Open up this chest. Come on. Alright, everything good. Take that. I'll gladly take that. That actually gives me... Because that actually is a storm capacity shield. Alright. This is the only way you can get across for there. And there you have an Arch Guardian and a Sarah Guardian. Honestly, take out no, two Sarahs. Take out the Arch first. Back up. Unfortunately, the archers have pretty decent range. Right, so let's let's get running. Sirs. Luckily, we're actually very close to a uh, new to a revival point, so honestly, dying here, I don't really mind. Uh, yeah, we're running low on ammo. Unfortunately, there is not really a um, ammo refill at the end of the state, this area, which honestly is really dumb. But we are also on the final run. So take out these Sarah Guardians. I'll use the shotgun to get this principal out principal out of the way. It's probably called Sierra or something, but honestly, I see Sarah. Like a seraphim. This is it. Okay. The reason you're here. Okay, this is the principal. You to this point that you've done so well. Know that you are ready for this. When the vault opens, brace yourself. Ooh. I, I believe will, in you. Ooh. You can do right, this. Thank you, mystery, mystery voice. But I'm also running low on ammo, on my ammo stuff, so I don't really know. But if you say I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> uh, Alright. The last run has a lot of guardians. Luckily, most of them are principal. So if you have a shotgun... Get it out, and it's at, it actually will serve you very well. Cause like you've seen, seen during, seen during this, during this segment, a good shotgun is it works wonders against the against the guardians, uh, against the uh, principal guardians. We also. Yeah. We also have a few more lancemen, so let's pop out some grenades. Sorry guys, I'm still not kill. I'm also basically having... Yeah, there are a crap ton of guys in this section. God damn it, a badass. I did not want the badass. I think me and Nikki encountered a badass. Like, see, okay, that's funny. See how easily they falter. Alright, so Sarah's. Okay, damn Sarah. Alright. Alright, 
So what's over here? Nothing. Gotcha. Collect the fruits of our labor. We'll also level up to get Diva to level four. Up, oh, up, oh, damn it. Where? Where are you? Fuck you. Bastard. I'm gonna swap to my rain gun for the other one. Rocket launcher. What do we got? Yeah. All right. Kind of annoying with that. All right. Oh, oh here's up. Oh, there's a blue. There's a green. There's another blue. All right. Well. I have low, low health, but in decent ammo, but let's enter the vault. I mean, it's not like still it's not going to be pushover, you know. And we have a cutscene. You have failed to listen to Commandant Steele. I've warned you time and again, yet you persist on ignoring my orders. The contents of the vault are rightfully the property of the Atlas. But you, <laughs> you belong to me. The Destroyer! You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? The Destroyer. This reality, it cannot survive without a host. That makes it vulnerable. When it becomes flesh and blood, it can be hurt, even killed. You just need to know where to aim. Let's bring out the Iridian for the rest of its health. No, they're also submerged, but it also has a powerful beam attack, but we got it. That was the destroyer. Yes, it kinda is pushover, especially considering my build. It kinda is. I am not going to lie. You opened the vault. I'm sorry I couldn't warn you about what was in it. But for you to be there to stop it. It couldn't have unfolded any other way. You did well, and your actions haven't gone unrewarded. The key won't open the vault for another 200 years, but I'm sure Tennis will pay you quite the fortune for it. Now go. I'll be watching. Bum, bum, bum. Check me out! 
clap track interplanetary ninja assassin and that is the main game of Borderlands to skip the credits because I think that song because that song is stink upon completing defeating the um, upon defeating the destroyer you can you can come grab the vault key there also are some chests we are actually I'm going uh, collect all the money that's scattered around here uh, I think there's some over here you can refight the destroyer for more stuff but honestly the only way to basically be doing this is oh is from the um thing anyway so we're gonna work back to Firestone so I can empty out my stuff and then we're gonna then we'll go see what's in the um and we're gonna see what's in the um What's in those uh, chests? I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. So now that we've sold everything, we're now going to go see what's in all those chests. I probably shouldn't have done that. If I have to fight the, the I'm pretty sure the destroyer's gone though. So, yeah, cool. All right, cool. Open up each one of these chests and see what's inside. All right, so an SMG and a and a an assault rifle. Don't care. Really don't care. A shock artifact for Hunter and crossbow artifact for Hunter. SMG, cannon, don't care. Some shields, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Really don't care again. Ew, and nope. And that was kind of a lame thing. Nothing really for me. That sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that really sucks. Anyway, return to the underpass. And so, that is, so, once we return this, that's kind of the end of Borderlands. <clears throat> However, that is not the end of the out Let's Play. I will be doing the DLC scenarios. So starting in the next episode, we will be, be we will begin the first DLC. But there is a little bit more of more stuff to do in this in this episode. So like I said, let's go return turn the Valky into Tannis and we'll and I'll show off what's next. Should we run past all the enemies? They're way too weak for us. Suffer a little bit of gas for some reason, but oh well. Hi uh, there, Tannis. Thank you for bringing this to me. This cash sum should cover the hardships you endured and ensure your continued silence. The key won't work again for hundreds of years, but I must keep it from falling into the wrong hands. In the meantime, I will continue my research. It appears that there is more to be learned from Viridians and weaponry and spaceships. And that is the end of the story. That is the end of the story 100%. So, what do I have left? Well, we're going to open up the two chests in here. Money, mostly. God damn it. 
I, already, I had two of those from the freaking... I don't... Okay, if I was the hunter and doing a revolver build, oh yeah, I would definitely be doing... I would be happy to have a... have um, those chests. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. But yeah, it's like if I had the um, stuff, I would be more than happy for with having a um, more than happy with having um, right. No, yeah, I don't remember my words. If I ha if I was doing a hunter and doing a revolver build, because he's kind of the best with revolvers, I would be more than happy to have chest a uh, pistol chest, but not if I'm doing um, anyone else. Anyway, first off, we're gonna go sell, so, eh, nah. nah. Alright. Alright, so, we have four areas that will take us to the, to the DLC sections. Jacob's Cove, the Underdome, T-Bone Junction, and the Tartar Station. For this episode, we're going to be ending in the Underdome, mostly because this one doesn't really have a story unlike the others. It has an intro cutscene that will introduce the character to us, but and there you go. My first husband was a dirtbag and a cheat. My second husband was fun. I figured by then that I deserved the toy, all for myself, and that's what I got. Still wish I hadn't broken my toy. My third husband was good with numbers, and his hands. We're still friends, kind of. We're civil. I'm looking for my fourth, you know, on the prowl. I don't know when I'll meet him or where I'll meet him, but he's out there. For now, I'll get my jollies off on bringing pain this way. Or maybe this way. And in the end, the crowd will love me for my brutality. I'll make them yearn for more and more of my pain. I'll be cruel and enjoy myself. When the thrill wears off, I'll leave and find a new toy. Until then, not too different than matrimony, come to think of it. Maybe the Colosseum is my fourth husband, in a way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mad Moxie's Underdome. This is basically just a little arena-based um, thing. It has no real story. Basically, what people want from here is there is a, is there is a, um, a weapon bank system. Huh. Wonder who Moxie's third husband was. And there's also, le and there's also these, um, yeah, there's, there's also basically weapon, there's basically, uh, spenders here that are actually very good. You also can increase your bank slots here. You also can increase your, you also can increase your um, ammo capacity, which is what we're going to be doing. Doing, and we'll also check here. We fill in these. Anything now. These actually do will kind of grow with your level a little bit, but we are not in, uh, um, but we are not in, uh, uh, playthrough two. Now, actually, actually, yeah, no, I'm going to talk about it. Playthrough two, upon completing a Borderlands game, you will basically unlock a new playthrough. In that... Enemies get stronger. However, there is a point that they will eventually scale to your level. I will point out that point when we reach it. But that is going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to cover the first of the DLCs. Who knows what awaits us when we head to Jacob's Cove. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all next time.